Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have a little bit of a raspy voice. Okay, I have my water. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all my piercings and the pain level, how old was I when I got them, what happened when I got them, the healing process, all that stuff, because these are normal questions I get asked frequently by friends, acquaintances, people I've gone to school with. <sighs> That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. So to start off with my first earlobes, of course, my first hole. Um, so my first hole I got when I was a baby, so it was probably around like the six month age. My doctor did it the first time is what my mom told me. And I ended up pulling them out because I was so young. Like it's very typical of babies to do that. So I pulled them out, they closed, and then my mom brought me to I think like a little kiosk like piercing pagoda or Claire's wherever you know the ones like in the mall whatever and I got them re-pierced there when I was probably around like one or two so I don't remember that I don't I just remember that I pulled them out they healed whatever ever since then I've had them and I definitely had some issues regarding like what kind of jewelry I can use and stuff like that My skin does turn green it does like get like crusty if like i'm wearing a, a metal for too long that I, my skin doesn't like so normally i can i can wear sterling silver that's fine but if i'm wearing like a fake metal my ears don't like it i think my belly button's fine with it but i don't know because the last belly ring that i had and i switch out my belly ring a lot um it didn't like so it's another thing to look out for metals might be different on your body like your nose might be not as sensitive as your ears or your ears may not be as sensitive as your belly button all types of things like that so that's something to look out for going on to my second hole so i've wanted my second hole for the longest time when i was younger my older cousin had like all these piercings and she had like her heart cartilage and her second third fourth hole and she only used, her ears were just jammed packed with earrings and i loved it and it was gorgeous when i was 10 my mom finally let me get my second hole and this this is where it went all downhill sister this is where it went all downhill so when i was 10 i remember this day like it was yesterday i didn't eat that day i didn't eat anything like that and of course it wasn't planned because my mom was like no you're not getting a piercing da, da, da. like she wasn't strict in that factor but she was just like like i was 10 like i was literally 10. like now looking back on it i was probably like pretty young to like be responsible for a piercing i don't know um it was like a surprise moment my mom was like yeah you can get a piercing we were just randomly at the mall and i got it pierced at claire's and i didn't eat that day and this is when we realized this is when we discovered so i remember like all i had that day was a chocolate milkshake and it wasn't even like a big one i think it was like a smaller medium like literally and i remember like being so nervous i had to like pee before it but when i went to claire's i was like i told them i was nervous you know so they had two girls there and they're like oh do you want us to do like one on each ear so you don't have to go like click and then click you know what i mean so it was just one at a time like one and done and maybe we first thought, like, maybe that's what striked this, you know? But no, I don't think so. <laughs> so they do it. I had a lollipop. And I remember, like, looking around and just like, not feeling well. Like, I wasn't nauseous, but I was just, like, extremely tired. Like, I did not want to get up. I didn't want the fucking lollipop. I didn't want to hold it. I can remember that. Like, I did not want to hold a lollipop. I got up and I walked to the counter and it was in not a far space like it was maybe maybe like two feet not even not even two feet walk like like five steps maybe and I only made it like three and I fainted like fainted like hit the ground like but um but like a dead body bro and my mom like still remembers that day like my brother they had to wake me up with like smelling salts it was so bad I ended up like they put me back up on the chair and I was like sweating profusely like I was getting chills and it was just so bad so there was I guess a nurse in Claire's at the time and she had like told my mom she's like I've never seen anything like that like 
because the ambulance had came like Claire's had called the ambulance and uh my mom like <laughs> made me go on the ambulance like, bitch what the fuck and I was literally so scared I told the paramedic that was like putting me on I was like I'll go on the I'll go on the gurney but don't poke me with anything and she was like okay I won't poke you with anything but I, pr I can't promise like the hospital won't but just fucking poked me with some shit so i ended up getting to the hospital and i didn't end up staying but i remember we left like really late at like 11 um which honestly isn't really that late like we probably got there at eight so we only spent like three hours there but like i had a room like it was pretty bad i've never been to the hospital with my brother and he used to go to the hospital like once a year when we were kids i never went to the hospital with him and he actually got a room like he had gotten stitches he he has broken bones he's cut himself numerous times like he has had heat stroke he would always just be in a hallway they would never give him a room so i don't know what it was maybe it was just my age i don't know i remember like being in the hospital and they were, i think they gave me like two bags of saline because i was like just really dehydrated and I don't know and then um i remember my dad brought me like mac and cheese and like a gatorade or something like that and i remember like having to pee with like the iv and i was so annoying oh my god not a good experience but the pain nothing honestly and like looking back on it like yeah it was like i don't know if it was worth it to go to the hospital but like it wasn't even that bad compared to like pain i'm gonna tell you about okay village after the second hole and I got that done when I was 12 and it it took me begging my mom like she no piercings after that like she told me we were in the hospital she's like no piercings after that like absolutely not like fuck that shit so um I got this because I had a rough time in middle school in my first year in sixth grade sixth grade was literally death to me and my parents like I did not want to go back to school in seventh grade and my parents were like they were actually divorced at the time, like they were in the middle of the divorce and they were like, fine, like, we have to take her, like, come on, like, we have to take her, like, she's miserable, <laughs> she doesn't want to go back to school, she's not going to go back to school. So that's what I got this for, <laughs> literally, I'm not even kidding, and that was not bad at all. I like remember not even feeling that bad, I had like an Arizona with me because we were like more prepared this time, but I definitely like got hot, I got like white in the face, and then like my piercer was my old he had like a shop and everything but he was my old neighbor and he like told me to like clench my butt cheeks because what happens when you go to faint is your blood in your brain like goes to like your feet like it just like you don't have a lot of blood and oxygen in your brain so they tell you to clench your butt cheeks and like breathe i think that's it i think so but yeah so that really was not bad and like walking out wasn't bad like literally nothing so then i move on to my belly button and let me tell you the story about this so i was going into high school and i was 14 or turning i was turning 14 at the time i think i got it on my birthday because i had high school orientation on my birthday and i literally remember like I told my mom like I wanted my tragus, my, tra my tragus is on the side, I wanted my tragus so bad like before my belly button like I didn't really even want my belly button when I was that young like I was just like eh like I could live without it but like I really want my tragus like right here she's really pretty I've never even changed her because I'm just terrified to. Went in my mom was like you can get your belly button done um but you can't get your tragus and I was like bitch what the fuck <laughs> because someone told her and this lady i guess was like tatted head to toe like a million piercings and she said her tragus piercing was her worst piercing and this is what i'm going to say to all of you is to take pain levels with a grain of salt because literally everyone is different like all of my friends tell me that like their nipple piercings aren't that bad bitch i know i personally know if i went to go get my nipples pierced I couldn't handle it. I would literally be Tana Mojo, okay? I would literally be that dramatic because it would hurt so bad. Like, I know. Because, like, I just know my body like that. So, take pain levels with a grain of salt. Um, because my belly button was my worst piercing. Hands down, I will... And it wasn't that bad, but it was, like, my worst piercing. Period. Period. End of story. And everyone has told me different. Everyone's like, oh, it's not that bad. And even when I tell people, like, how bad of an experience I had. And not even experience. 
because it wasn't even the piercing's, piercer's fault. All of my piercing, piercings have been done by the same person, so. So yeah. Um, so, my experience with it, you don't really think about it, but it kind of goes through twice your belly button. It has to like go through and it's like hard to explain and you don't even really think about it until you're going through it and that's what happened to me like he was like okay take a deep breath and I think he just didn't do it very quick um but I understand because the belly button you want to be like you want to make sure you're doing it correctly and like not thin enough not too thin and not too thick enough because I know like one of my best friends like hers had like thinned out really really bad and then you can't even put a belly ring anymore because it's too heavy and it'll just like kind of like slowly rip out which is like probably really painful that piercing was just like wow and like i got up because you have to like lay down for it and then when i got up i was right in the face i was like hot and then like we got up to move and i was at like the counter my mom was like paying or i don't even know what she was doing filling out paperwork getting i think she was getting like the aftercare instructions and i was like standing there and i was like okay i'm just gonna go sit down because i do not feel well i do not feel well and we literally had to stay there until like he closed and he had to like give, give me sour patch kids and bitch i did not feel well like i just i remember coming home and just being like bitch so that was not good and then all my piercings so they're all healed now and everything so that was my tragus and i even when i got this done i got this I done in 10th grade it was the beginning of 10th grade i'm done with piercings now but i'll tell you guys the story about this one so this piercing was just like a cartilage piercing and probably hurt even a little bit less and the one that i was this was the one that i was nervous about because this is the one that everyone hears says that you hear a pop i did not hear a pop Eddie, everyone's a little different with that like some people do hear a pop i didn't hear a pop if you have a cartilage piercing you can handle a tragus piercing it's really not that bad um but like i said everyone is different that one lady was telling my mom it was literally the worst thing she's ever gone through piercing wise and tattoo wise so everyone's different take it with a grain of salt trust your own body I used to watch piercing videos when i was younger because i was just all about it i thought they were so cute and like I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. Somebody always used to tell me, like, try pinching, like, your, you could try pinching, like, your tragus or, like, your cartilage or whatever you want to get done. And, like, if you can bear it, like, you can get through it. And just, like, remember, like, it's, like, it's instantly. I think it'll sting after the fact, but it's not going to sting, like, while it's happening. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be unbearable. Like, so many people get it. You know what I mean? So, just remember that. And then... That wasn't bad. I even told my parents, or like my mom, at the, yeah, my mom was there. I told my mom and the piercing, I was like, my belly button was literally worse than that. Like, I, I just had to tell my mom that. I was like, girl, you don't even know. You don't even know. She'll just let me get it, because that's what I want. I probably would have never gotten my belly button then. So, and I like my belly button. My belly button's cute. But then moving on to these double cartilage over here. The hoop at the bottom and this piercing at or like this earring at the top now i had a stud in at the top when i first got it pierced worst mistake in my life i'm going to insert clips and pictures and everything that i can find because bitch i was done with piercings after this like i didn't even know this could happen i didn't know this was a possibility because i had gotten a hoop on this one and i got it pierced too and i was sketched the fuck out so i got this in 11th grade and i remember i like went after school with my boyfriend my mom brought us and the screw in one like it's the same one as a tragus hurt more and i'm guessing it's because it's like it's, it's a screw in instead of like just a hoop that you kind of slide in but i was like this didn't even hurt that bad so i was like I was confused so I was like damn why the fucking hurt so bad so I was like whatever and then I feel faint or anything like that honestly I was pretty good I was okay I had I think I had yeah I had Gatorade my boyfriend had gotten me Gatorade so I was fine I had water I was living you know at this time I was working a lot what's new but I was in school and I was working a lot and uh <laughs> The weekends to me would like go by like this because I would work like Friday, 
I'd get out of school, go to work. Saturday I was there all day. So it was kind of just like constant like go, 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 go kind of thing. And I was obviously in school, so I was like even more tired on top of all that. And I remember sleeping on it like and not even like intentionally and like I you're in that like REM sleep of like you're you know you shouldn't sleep on a certain side like if you have sunburn or you're gonna be in pain like you know you have to stay in one certain spot I was so like sleep deprived and like so tired sleep on that side and like not even know like not even I had no idea so the top hole the top where the stud was started sinking into my ear and when I had realized it it was like already too late not even I don't think it was too late then but I was just like stressed the fuck out and when I found out I don't even think my parents were home that weekend I think they were like away and I was terrified let me tell you I will show the pictures they're just terrifying like I didn't even know what to do with like all these piercings on my body and I didn't know what to do to that like bitch I was scared it had to be Sunday night because I told my mom Saturday like sent her a picture because I was opening and I remember like realizing and trying to like push it forward and like trying to like get it to come out and I was like in the mirror for like 20 minutes at work like trying to pull this earring out of my ear and it just wouldn't budge wouldn't budge if like it was almost sinking in deeper I was like bitch so I was like so I sent a picture to my mom and she was like, oh my god, like, and it like hurt, like obviously it's sinking into your ear. And like, so this was the healing process, you know what I mean? So it's, it's healing while the earring is sinking into my ear, you know what I mean? So then Sunday rolls around and my mom, the piercer didn't work on Sundays. And my mom had like texted him on Facebook or something, because like I said, he was my old neighbor. And was like hey can you take a look at this for me and like send him the picture and he was like could you like stop by the shop or whatever like i'll come in but like i need to take a look at that because it was so bad he ended up having to rip the earring out from the front the most painful experience ever it ever i didn't even like i didn't even know what he did at the time and when my mom told me i was like yeah that makes sense that sounds about right <laughs> Like, bitch, it hurts so bad. So fucking bad. And then afterwards, he had to put a hoop into it. Obviously, because the stud wasn't working. It was gushing blood. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so bad and so disgusting. I ended up having to take a shower afterwards, which helped a lot with the pain because it was like cold water and it felt really good and like helped with the inflammation. So, if that ever happens to you, or if you're in like really bad pain after getting a piercing, I just really recommend like a cold shower or anything like that. Or, like cold, like salt water soak or whatever you need to do it was like my mom like asked him something and he went to like go show her and was like touching my ear i've never yelled at this man before i've never yelled at anyone ever in my life especially when i like give you permission to go at me with a needle i don't yell at people i bitch i <laughs> i just that's so uncomfortable for me he was like yanking on it after the fact he just ripped my earring out put another one in and it's gushing blood and he's like yanking on it like trying to show my mom like literally screaming i was like okay you can stop now like bitch i felt so bad but like in the moment i did not fucking care i was like get me the fuck out of here like i remember saying that and him being like okay okay i literally got up on my own i didn't care about no fucking fainting i got up on my own and went out to the lobby and waited and my mom was like in the back with him because he had like he was giving my mom the stud back i guess he charged like five dollars for the hoop which makes sense because like back then I was like bitch I was just motherfucking here like why are you charging me but it makes sense because it's literally a piece of jewelry like and that's literally mad cheap for like a little hoop you know what I mean like back then I was just angry as fuck because ow bitch ow ow why are you doing that that hurt afterwards it was fine so honestly it wasn't that bad but for any cartilage piercings just get a fucking hoop don't try to be cool with the stud like i still haven't changed my tragus piercing yet. i think this was with both of my ears both my cartilage piercings a lot of earrings don't fit in them lengthwise like the stud isn't long enough but the way that he pierced it if you pierced it at an angle because that can happen like if they pierce it at an angle it's if you do it straight 
okay most of the earring doesn't have to be that long to reach the back so you can screw the ball in if it's at an angle now you need a longer post in order to the for the post to reach the back of your earring so you can put your your ball in you know i've always noticed on this ear like only certain earrings fit this ear and then with the top one too like not a lot of earrings could fit this one so i don't know if it's i don't know if it's the way that my ears are obviously but the same piercer pierced them so it also might be the way that he he it may also be the way that he he pierces things i'm not sure maybe it's just me <laughs> um there's other ways around that too though because i know the place that i get all of my jewelry from and like um like body jewelry is body candy I have like um length of uh cartilage studs that you can get but i just don't know like how long like maybe besides this one i waited a year to like change them out if that makes sense so even my tragus i've had this in for two years now i just like to leave them in until they heal so i don't want to bother them every healing process is different but they're all pretty long with the tragus i think it was the longest one it was six to twelve months i want to say i really want to say and then cartilage uh, cartilages aren't that bad some of them are six months i think most of them are six months and i think the same way with the belly ring i don't know when i was younger i used to know all about this all right guys that is the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed and learned more about piercings got any questions answered that you might have wondered or asked um and yeah Bye, guys.